tell us more specifically how some of these tools can help as an effective conflict management tool. Improvisation, and specifically business improvisation techniques, are used as conflict management tools because quite often a part of conflict is a lack of communication, where one person is trying to push his or her own agenda on the other person who is trying to do the same thing. So it turns into us protecting ourselves or trying to undermine somebody else. Now, there's a huge difference between individual perspective and individual agenda. In any environment, we want individual perspective to come out. We need that diversity of opinion. We have to be inspired by each other and learn from each other and grow from each other. At the same time, we have to hit the same agenda. And that's very important. So if you start using the cornerstone of improvisation, yes and, as a conflict management tool, yes is still unconditional acceptance. And I'm listening to you. I'm forced to slow down. A basic human communication pitfall is not only how I say that, it's also <laughs> that we start thinking about what we're gonna say next. We get caught in our own head and we start forming our own answers, or in this case, our counter arguments. And so if you're really applying the yes and technique, it forces you to get out of your own head. It forces you to listen to what somebody else is saying at a very high level, and you have to react directly to what they're saying. So instead of forming your counter argument, you're taking advantage of what they're saying and you can actually pull from it to buttress your own argument, saying you just said this and this is exactly what I mean by that. So now instead of us undermining each other, we're really talking about this thing right here in the middle, this thing that's keeping us from being aligned with each other and completely in sync with our overall agenda.